Good day ladies and gents, today we're going to talk about some of the secret updates that some of the secret new items, some of the secret new areas that BSG brought into the game that is not in patch notes. And first of all, I would love to share the new woods bunker that BSG added to the game. Here is the location of the bunker, it is right there in between the sniper rock and the village, the bridge um, car exit. It's right here, I'll show you how to get there um, and our starting point is going to be the paracord exit that used to exist in the past. Um, so yeah, you will not get lost. I'll show you how to get there. And uh, yeah, before we start, before I show you the bunker, let me quickly update you on the Tarkov events. Literally 20 minutes ago when I started recording this video, BSG posted this. Over the past 24 hours, epidemic outbreaks were reported across the entire territory, leave the dangerous areas immediately. And if we follow this link to escape from, from Tarkov.com slash Halloween, it's gonna take us here. And it will show us which of the areas are actually uh, infected by the zombies. So there is no zombies on customs, but if you go to other maps, uh, there will be zombies over there. So yeah, check out the map, enjoy the event, and let's get back to the to the to the map. Let's go back to the bunker. I'll show you how to get there, and I'll show you what's inside it. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you stay updated, sub to the channel if you still haven't, and while you watch this video, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you pop them down, I will read them, I will respond to them, and make sure you have a wonderful uh, rest of your day after watching this video, ladies and gents. So, as I said before, we start at the paracord exit that doesn't exist anymore, we follow the rocks, and my advice is don't try to go up the hill, try to stay as low as possible, go to the right side of the rocks, the bunker is located as low as possible, you don't need to go up the hill at all, and just follow the path that I'm taking, and once you learn where the bunker is, you can find your, or your own orienteers, and um, maybe find it in a better way. Once you go inside the bunker, there's a lot of different things you can find. Since I'm uh, playing offline, there isn't really much loot in there, but you can find different keys, you can find uh, bitcoins, you can find jewelry. So make sure you check all the rooms and uh, yeah, enjoy the new area while it's buffed, because most likely in the future, BSG will nerf it. So loot the loots while you can, that is my advice. So the next new area that has been added to the game is on labs. It's been added right next to the blue room. This is the blue room. This is the hallway all the way to the black and the server room. And the new room is right there. It's quite quite obvious. Basically, there is one way to get in. Uh, you need to go here, activate the power. And as soon as you activate this power, the door is gonna open automatically. Otherwise, there is no way to get in. So you activate the power, boom, and the door gets open automatically. There's a couple of good rooms in this area. Uh, first of all, this room. Typically, there's a couple of good guns in here, either MDR-702 or Sig Spear, a couple of RSSs. And the bullets are top tier, so make sure you check this room. Uh, you can easily get like 300 M995s or like 300 M62s from this room every single raid. On top of that, you should be checking the tables. Rollers spawn here all the time, as well as under the table. Um, speaking of this room, since I'm playing in offline, there isn't really too much loot in here. As soon as you turn right, there will be a office that you can go in. And make sure you check this place right here for the keycard, right there. It spawns inside this uh, triangle thingy. This is the keycard, residential unit. Um, and check around for bitcoins, uh, rollers, different jewelry. This place is also really, really good for spawning top tier items. After that, we'll go inside. Check the tables, check the um, ch check for syringes. Typically they can spawn, I think first uh, first time in forever they spawn inside like those, um, I don't, I don't, like inside this scientific equipment. So an actual place where syringes are supposed to be. And I think same thing applies to, the, to this room. So you can actually find uh, lootable syringes inside those places right there. So look for those. Uh, there is another keycard spawn inside the microscopes. So when you see the microscope, make sure you look inside. Look for this area right there. So this area, this is where the keycards do spawn. And uh, once again, there's a lot of medical loot in those areas. Make sure you loot it, make sure you check every single thing. Another spawn for the keycard, by the way, residential unit. Then we're gonna head a bit further. Same thing applies to this room. Check the tables, check the microscopes. And uh, the last thing that you need to check is the actual residential unit. It is actually located in the beginning of the new area. So we'll go all the way back. And when you enter the new area, you just go straight till the very end. You turn right, and this is the residential unit. You use the keycard to open the room. 
And once again, there's a lot of loot you can find in intelligence folders on those shelves, as well as the blue ones, which are really rare and really expensive. Uh, you can find rollers on the beds, under the beds, sometimes there is stuff on top of the bed. Table is really good for stuff as well, you can find bitcoins on the table, as well as under the table, as well as under this bed. So make sure you check everything, I don't think I've been to this room even once without finding at least one bitcoin. So, so far it's been an absolute, absolute uh, monster, of, uh, monster of loot. And to be fair about the new area, this is it. But you need to remember that those glasses, you cannot shoot through this. So if there is a guy standing right there, you will not be able to kill him. If there is a guy standing right here, you will not be able to kill him. But funnily enough, somehow the nades go through. It has to be a bug. Uh, I chucked a nade through this area here. See, this is the way the nade lands. A little bit weird, but it is what it is. So uh, yeah, this is the new area on laps. Make sure you check it out. Another brand new addition, secret addition to labs and maybe to other maps is this. Watch this and tell me if you see anything new. Yes, the doors are automatic now. They automatically open and automatically close when you go in the range of sensors. So funnily enough, I'm standing right there, like right next to the door. But it doesn't open as long as the sensor doesn't see me. That's 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 quite funny, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a new addition. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any additions like this on other maps. If there are, let me know down in the comments below, because I haven't seen any. Um, and yeah, that's that's quite cool. I mean, dude, interactions like this always uh, make the game feel more alive and uh, you feel more immersed. I'm I'm all all in for it as long as it doesn't affect the frames too much, I guess. The two Halloween things that I would love to mention now is, first of all, well, it's not really a secret because BG kind of posted about it on their Telegram and maybe Twitter, but I'm going to let you know either way. So first of all, if you go into hideout, there will be some new Halloween decorations. You'll be able to see some of the pumpkins. You can turn them off if you really want to, but I think it gives uh, an additional Halloween atmosphere and it looks kind of sick. So yeah, there's some pumpkins, there are some bats. Looks really nice in my opinion. And the other thing is you can find uh, pumpkins on all the maps. Whenever you open the pumpkin, it will give you some of the sweets. So-called sweets are technically sugar, juice, something you can eat, something you can drink. Let me un unpack one of those for you. And this is the kind of things we get. So I got tar cola, alonka, sugar, even Bakizi's book, funnily enough. So we can, we can sell, make some cash. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, another some changes that might go unnoticed unless you look uh, deeply into the mods. BG added a couple of new modifications for G36, Scar, and Og. The Og itself has a new body, which is Dark Og. We only had um, Bright Og before. And uh, there is a new railing that you can add to this Og, which looks really, really nice because it, it lay it's really long, right? And it lays right next to the gun. So if you like some free space on your screen, this is a really neat thing to use. Another thing is G36 got a little bit of mods. Uh, you can now change the front area of the gun. I'm not sure about the, um, the way you call this thing. Uh, railing, I guess. And you can put foregrips on it. On top of this, there is a new stock available called G36 Tommy. However, I was not able to find it. Maybe it's found in rate only, but using this, you can put any, any stock you want. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to get the Tommy one because it's not being sold on the flea. I don't think there are quests that unlock this, so you can buy it from traders. And there is no bartering offers either. So I assume it is found in raid only so far, but it's kind of kind of nice, kind of neat. And regarding Scar, there is a lot of modifications that you can do. First of all, you can change the stock to anything you want. Like uh, there is a new RE Scar stock. You can put literally any stock in the game on it. So new meta Scar is incoming. And the other new thing is you can change the front of the gun if you get rid of the uh, the side stripes on the scar. You can use the new the new um, the new once again. I'm not sure about the terminology. I'm sorry. Um, you can put the new handguard on it, and you can put any grip with this handguard if you want to. On top of that, there is a front part. You can see it. You can see it now. There is a front part of it which you, which is swappable. You can take it off if you want to for better ergonomics. So my ergonomics is 50. I take it off ergonomics 51. But if you want better recoil, you put it on. It's also available in two colors. And on top of that, you can put some flashlights on it. You can put some lasers. 
So yeah, it's quite quite neat. So make sure you check those guns out. Um, I think the stats are much, much better than they used to be. And the recoil doesn't kick as much as it used to. The last thing that I would like to talk about is actually quite important because it's going to save you a lot of time if you like to sell on the flea. And if you weren't selling on the flea, now is the right time to do so. So before, the fastest way to sell on the flea would be you click on the item you want to sell on the flea. You click filter by item, right? You wait for the fleet to load, you check the price, you click add offer. Then you have to scroll all the way down to your items, wherever they are, because every single time you would use the flea, this table would refresh and it would always go to the top of the table. So you have to scroll down, you auto select similar, you click on this, you check the price, boom, 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 and then you sell it, right? Right now, it's much faster. You right click on the item you want to sell, you click add offer, right? Add offer. And uh, on the top right, it will tell you the minimum, the average, and the maximum price. And if you auto-select similar right here, if you click this once, it's going to save it for the future trades. And then you can just click minimum, and then you click sell. I don't want to sell this, so I'm not going to sell this. Uh, let's sell PP bullets, for example. Add offer. Prices, we know the prices. It selects all the bullets. I just click this and click place offer. This is it. I don't need to do anything else. So when you sell items, you literally do one click, two clicks, three clicks, four clicks. Four clicks to sell everything. That will save you so much time. Make sure you use it. That will literally save you days and months if you play this game for long enough. Literally going to save you days of your life. Make sure you use this. Um, another neat thing is that whenever you do a filter by item uh, and the, you add something to the, um, like you want to sell something, it doesn't refresh your table, so you don't have to scroll down all, all the time. So like, let's, let's say you want to sell the items at the bottom of your stash, you can sell them one by one, and the table will stay there, which is also neat. Um, I'm not sure if there's like any other big flea changes, to be fair. The new, the new system is uh, quite nice with being able to add the offer and sell things. Uh, but yeah, that's about it about the flea. You can also refresh the items if you want to. So yeah, that's quite neat. Make sure you use that. Those are all the changes I wanted to share with you, ladies and gents, today. So thank you so much for watching this video. Use the new features. Give this video a thumbs up if you still haven't. And make a wonderful rest of the day. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.